And it's those shots that are causing major trouble for one New Jersey family. A four-year-old wasn't allowed to go to preschool for a week because of a state law requiring all children under the age of five to get a flu shot. But his parents refused to give him the flu shot because of the boy's egg allergy, which is an ingredient in the vaccine. The school finally relented today, and the boy will be going back Monday. But should this have happened in the first place? With me now, Lise Wheel, Fox News legal analyst, and Jeffrey Gold, a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor. Lise, we'll start with you. You think uh, this is the right thing to do? The kids should go back to school, the no flu shot? absolutely be able to go back to school. It's the wrong thing to do to tell these parents to put the kid at risk because, as you said, he has an allergy to eggs. So, and he had a doctor's note. His pediatrician said he could get really sick from this. The parents, this is a four-year-old kid, said the parents said, we're not going to make that kind of mistake. We're not going to take that kind of risk and allow this kid to maybe potentially lose his life over this. Well, Jeff, you know, the, the doctor wrote a note, but he didn't make the connection between the allergy and the flu shot, which might yeah. have been the problem. What do you make of this? You went to this school. You know, the funny thing is, coincidentally, I went to this elementary school, and I was a little embarrassed about it. You know, I stood outside and saluted the flag the day that uh, Kennedy died at that school. This was wow. an embarrassment. Th this was really an embarrassment. And they, they, you know, they made a policy. They stuck to the policy and said something really stupid. Okay. Take the vaccine first, and let's, and see, let's, what see, let's see what happens. What the heck right. was that? Right. <laughs> and do you remember? I'm embarrassed. Remember, in, in our, you know, with our kids, young kids, and everything, and, and now the peanut allergies. Yeah. Where we're told you just take well, in no, fact, that's no right. kind of peanuts, anything in your lunch pail because you that, can make everybody exact... sick. Same thing here with the eggs. So, what, the, and think about the nurse. Think about the nurse who's going to have the vaccine. You know, give this vaccine is going to sit around and wait for this kid to go into you know uh, epileptic yeah. seizures. There's a little boy right here. Yeah. yeah. A picture Aww. of him. Yeah, he's a cute kid. And you know, these vaccines are only six. 65% effective anyway. It's not like it's 100% anyway. So four of the ten are still going right. to get the flu. All right, we're going to get you on to another topic okay. here because there's another case that I want you guys to adjudicate, and I know that you disagree on it. So this is this interesting case with this young woman who's a University of Cincinnati student, and she's been stalked by her parents, mm -hmm. of all things. They have tracked her down. They put software on her computer to follow her. And, and she basically went to a court and asked for help. And the court gave her that help. Jeff, what do you think? I mean, damn right, these aren't helicopter parents. These are prison guard oh. parents. These, these are parents that made her put Skype on at night in her dorm room so they could see her sleep. They put a keystroker on her laptop so everything she did, they would say, look, the school understood this and got security guards to keep the parents away. Oh, when, gee, because the parents actually wanted to go see some of her school events and wanted to be there to support their child. Oh, that's just so horrible. Hey, not, what, what horrible parents Not only that, that, but when they said we're not paying tuition, the school understood was going on and gave her a scholarship. The so judge agreed they were with their, me. They were worried about they, their own liability. The school was these, at that these point. These parents are stalkers, but you know what? Stalkers? The, you know what the, parents I, stalking? The, I don't I, think so. The irony of ironies is that every media outlet in the world in the last week and a half have been looking for them, putting notes on their door, calling them. The stalkers are being stalked. All right, Liz, tell me what you think. Okay, I've seen on the other side of pros prosecuting cases where I get people in at sentencing. They say, oh, you know, I had terrible parents. My parents were never there for me. My parents were, you know... I, absent my whole life. Now, finally, you've got parents who, maybe they're a little but overzealous. Please, please, can't there be too much? A little overzealous. A little? A little. A little. Bit, a little. But I'm going to put Skype to... on you at night. <laughs> yeah, but you're not my, my kid, and you're not my well, parents. So that's the difference. These she's an adult. Are, uh, she's, she's 21 adult. years old. She's also a rock she... star. She also has terrific grades. Yeah, she's an outstanding right. student. But we don't, musician. She's got great grades, she... but we don't know what else is going on. What they said, what the parents said is, look, there may be some mental, mental health issues here. Parents that actually care about their kid and want to be there. What does that say to you, though, that the school sided with That's the right. child? Because they were worried about their own liability. Well, you know, how about the judge? The school and the judge. That's true. How hard it, is, is it in Cincinnati, Ohio, uh -huh. to get a judge to tell parents that they've got to stay judges away from the kids? Judges make mistakes, too, Jerry. Judges make yeah, mistakes. Uh -huh. Cincinnati is very conservative. Yeah. And but, this is not a conservative ruling. It's absolutely not a conservative ruling. I think it's the wrong ruling. I mean, I'm sure this young lady, this 21-year-old, is a fantastic girl and everything. But to pay, take it into a courtroom rather than it's what the about the old-fashioned exactly. right? What about the old-fashioned thing? Well, it Mom and Dad, she was pushed this to is do upset. it. At some point, whether You're it's your parents or somebody it. else stalking you, you want a little freedom. Maybe. They weren't paying for her tuition. Yeah, they're, they weren't paying for her tuition because she said, I'm never going to speak with you again. I mean, so uh, this I is a way to get too. her attention. I might do that, too, so, if they, wait if a second. they stalk so me. So they, they don't take, so she, they stop 
about paying the tuition and then you take your parents to court? Well, like I said, what about the old fashioned thing of going, Mom and Dad, let's go out for a cup of coffee? Well, I, I think gotta she talk probably, to you about I think she this. probably tried that. I think I you would have had to get somebody else in the family to come in. Or that might have been a better but solution. But this is not for a courtroom. This is not meant to be dealt with. Well, a I, you know, I, it's hard to tell. You guys made good points both sides. I can't, I I can't win, right? pick one side. <laughs> you guys were good. Although, I think we figured the flu thing out pretty good. Yeah. 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 Thanks so much. Got Great job way. to both of you. Appreciate it. Good and weekend. It's amazing that you went to that school. All right. It's weird. <laughs>